Hey everybody, um, I've gone through how to layer vinyl in Cricut Design Space, but I wanted to go through it real quick in Silhouette Studio as well. So I did the same file. I'm going to put this in my blog post and just kind of combine them so you can see the vinyl um, decal. But anyways, you can see here I have three different colors and the easiest way I've found is to Take your design and make sure everything is ungrouped, which I've already done. Okay, so all the colors are ungrouped, and then I just want to make sure that the black is grouped. So I just went ahead and did that by pressing Control G on my keyboard. And you're going to want to go to your rectangle tool, and you can use any shape really. Um, I just find it easier to use. A rectangle and you're gonna want to just draw a square okay and copy it and paste it and move it over your design select both and make sure they are lined up and group them by hitting control G which is what I'm used to doing or going up here and group your shapes okay now the next part gets a little bit trickier, but not really. You're going to want to basically take the rectangles, select them, select your black text, hit copy. Now you could open up a new mat, or you can just do it right in the workspace you're in for the purposes of this. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and do it in the same mat. When you paste it, group them together and just kind of put it to the side. And then you're going to want to do the same thing with the other layers. And what I like to do just for sake of keeping everything together is taking the rectangles and making them the same color as the design and it just makes it kind of easier for me to keep track of the groups okay I forgot to group that one okay so then you can go ahead and get rid of that and then you're going to have three separate designs and you can lay out your vinyl pieces so that they cut it's a little bit of a waste of vinyl when you have small pieces like this so I try to make sure when I cut I'm um, you know keeping the scraps because I do use the scraps for other small projects but when you cut these obviously you'll be cutting with black red and green and then you can line them up. Um, and if you go check out the blog post, you can actually see how I did that. Um, generally, I'll lay down the largest um, surface area first. So I would do the black, and then I would lay down the green, and then I'll lay down the red. And you can see how I did that in the post. I actually take some practice when you're doing more intricate designs. Um, because you can miss a little bit. So it takes some practice and some time. And you'll see in the pictures on the blog post that I actually missed on the green. And I lined the red up fairly perfectly. So um, just take a look. And if you have any questions, let me know. I just find this to be a really easy way to do it. So there you have it. I hope you all enjoy. If you like this video, please click subscribe below. You can also join my Facebook group for more tips and tricks and tutorials in Silhouette Studio, and I hope you all have a great night.